Today, we are trying out the viral TikTok thermal nails. I've been seeing these around, and it's this really cool layered nail art look, and you guys, this may be one of the easiest techniques ever. So getting right into it, you wanna start by choosing your colors, and I decided to go with pink, purple, green, and turquoise, and this technique is using gel nail polish. Starting with the pink, I'm going to apply two coats and then cure that underneath my lamp. And because we are layering these, you wanna start with your lightest color and then do your darkest color last. So two coats of pink here, and then I'm gonna move on to the purple. I'm doing the same thing here, covering my nail completely with that purple. And I think this is the hardest part. So you wanna keep your coats thin, but you're also trying to cover the previous color. So it needs to be a little bit thicker. And something that I did that may help you, I didn't focus too much on the sides of my nail. So I made sure the middle was completely covered, but on the sides, I kind of left it thin or even bare because I knew I wouldn't be doing the design there. Hopefully that makes sense. Also, make sure you're using opaque gel polish. It's gonna make this whole process a lot easier. Right here, I'm doing green as my third color, and guys, that green was barely covering. I was like, oh, my nail's about to be so thick, but we got it, and then for the last color, I chose turquoise. I did take my time a little bit more with this layer just to make sure the sides of my nail were completely covered and everything looked nice. I cured that under my lamp one last time, and I was actually so surprised because my nail was not a thick bubble. I'll show you guys from the side, but it actually looked pretty good. So moving on to the fun part, guys, I'm so excited. So you're gonna grab a nail file, and this is a 180 slash 100 grit nail file, so it has a really coarse grit to it. And I just started filing, I think I started with the 180 side, and it wasn't doing much, so I switched to 100. But honestly, throughout this, I just started switching back and forth. Anyways, literally at first, nothing was happening, and I was like, ugh. It was too good to be true, but I kept going and eventually I hit the green and I was so excited. So I just kept filing in that same area. Eventually it hit the purple and then I filed a little more and it got to the pink. And this one was so satisfying, but also it looks so cool. Look at that. You can't tell me, this was so much fun to do and you guys know I don't even like filing. I'm using a fluffy brush here just to wipe off that filing dust so you can see it better. But this, this is so cool. I love this so much. So I decided to make another one right next to it. Same thing, I'm just filing it down until I hit each color. And I do have to say, you need to be careful with this because I got a little too excited when I was filming and I did go a little too far down in the pink. So I ended up going back and adding a little more pink to the center. So definitely something to keep in mind. Another thing with this technique, since you're filing only in certain areas, I wasn't sure how uneven and bumpy my nail would be but I don't think it was that obvious, especially after I added the top coat, it wasn't anything noticeable. I'm sure if I would have really rubbed my nail, I would have been like, okay, it's a little uneven, but it really wasn't that bad. So here it is glossy, and then here it is with a matte top coat. Originally, I was gonna do one nail, but this design was so cute, I decided to just do a full manicure. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I did switch it up on each nail where I was filing. And as far as picking your colors, I would say four is a good number. You could also do three so your nail isn't as thick. I did try using a medium grit buffing block to get down to each layer, but I just found it was taking way too long, so I would stick to the nail file. You can also use an e-file if you have that. I don't really use those much, but that would definitely make this process a lot faster. Here is how the nails turned out. Overall, I really like this technique, which is probably already clear. The only downside is your nail will be a little bit thicker than normal and it is gonna take longer to soak off, but you don't have to draw anything. Anybody could do this. You don't need a steady hand. I think that's a really cool thing about this. So I wanna know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried it, if you want to, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.